The Tears Animal Rescue Sleepathon. Uh, it's back next month. It's the 10th edition as well. They've been doing an outstanding job. It essentially allows animal lovers to spend a night cuddling a little rescue pet who needs a lot of love, especially the rescue ones, uh, and raise awareness and funds as well. I'll get all the details in a moment of why we're doing this, uh, but it will be taking place on the 11th, the 18th and the 25th of November. Uh, it'll be at the Tears Animal Rescue Centre. It's in Sunnydale uh, down in Cape Town. Let's get the details then. Luke Crate, uh, manager of the Tears Shelter, joining us uh, now, and he has one of his own little friends uh, with him as well, who I imagine is not going to be part of the interview, uh, but uh, is it a little boy or a little girl, by the way? Luke, morning. Good morning, Shane. This is little Nova. She's a girl. And shame, she's had quite a rough start to life, but yeah, she's on, on a road to recovery. Yeah, this is why this is why you guys are here to do exactly this. So let's talk about the uh, the sleepathon as well. It's been going for some time. Well, where did the idea come from? What's the point of it? Tell me about all. Tell me all about it. Um, yeah, well, we've done the sleepathon at Tears for over ten years now. It's one of our flagship fundraising events, and we wanted to create um, a cool way for people to become involved with Tears um, and to donate and to feel like they're really uh, making a difference to the lives of animals that we have in our care. And um, we thought we would just do a sleepover and get everyone in at the shelter and yeah, break um, a lot of notions that a shelter is a sad space for animals. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of shelters and it's a really happy space and it's just filled with animals who have been let down and need a second chance in life. And they also need some, some love and some cuddles as well. How many animals are you looking after at the moment, Luke? Oh, it kind of averages um, up to about 230 here at our kennels and catchery and then we rely on foster homes as well. So, yeah, in excess of 230 animals looking for homes. I think little Nova is a bit shy about being on TV. It's okay, Nova, I'm not going to ask you any questions. It's okay, don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> uh, so the, the sort of response that you get, I mean, is, is this something that you uh, tend to struggle to get people involved with or are you starting to turn people away at the door? Oh, it's always is a bit of a stretch in the beginning. We're always concerned we're not going to sell the tickets. And then by the time the events um, starts happening, we have people crowding the gates to get in and we just don't have enough space for everyone. Um, so, yeah, I definitely get you keen on joining, get your ticket now. I want to ask you about that because there are lots of people actually with very good hearts, despite uh, those of us who are pessimistic, who want to be involved in this. Talk to me about tickets. How does this, this work? Do we go online? If there's a website, send me there. How does somebody who wants to be part of this in November, where, where am I sending them to? Awesome. We can visit our website. It's tears.org.za. Um, or you can directly go to the Sleepathon page. It's tears.org.za forward slash Sleepathon. Um, the tickets are 250 Rand each, mm -hmm. and it pretty much secures your space at the event. Um, so once you've got your tickets, um, you're going to pretty much go out and try and get as many people to sponsor your stint at the shelter for the night. So get people to sponsor your sleep every hour. Um, you're going to be in a kennel and, and, or a catchy with rescue dogs and cats. And yeah, apart from giving them cuddles and giving them lots of love, you really are fundraising for their future and trying to make the, a, a better life for the animals here and also the ones in the future that need to come in. I, I imagine the irony of it being a sleepathon is those there uh, cuddling the furry friends aren't doing much sleeping. They're playing with the dogs all night. I don't imagine much sleep <laughs> is going on. What does someone need to bring with them? Uh, just I'm talking from a practical perspective. What's required? I mean, obviously you get the tickets, uh, et cetera, but what do they need to actually bring uh, with because they're going to be in a in a little area with the dog for the night yes so definitely think camping vibes so bring something to sleep on something to keep you warm um optional things like chairs and all that kind of stuff just to make your stay in the kennel a bit more enjoyable is recommended um when people come through for the sleepathon um we've got a, a really big festive vibe so we've got um musicians and we've got food stores as well so meals or dinner is pretty much sorted everything is plant-based so you'll come through meet all the dogs and cats looking for homes get mm. to know everyone have dinner enjoy some tunes and then you'll get locked into the, to the kennels from about seven o'clock yeah, you've got, you got to go to sleep they put you away for the evening as well but this goes beyond just the, that <laughs> night i mean obviously this is a great way to to get people in there to see the kind of work that you're doing, to see the kind of assistance that you and your team need. I'm sure there's a very big team behind the scenes, uh, Luke, uh, as well. But I imagine the ultimate goal is to have a, a rescue friend go home with a loving family. I, I imagine that's the, that's the goal in the end, or am I wrong? No, no, absolutely. We've had a few adoptions from the Sebathon, so folks who have come through and spent the night just couldn't leave without the animal they slept with, which is amazing. 
um, if you might not be in a position to adopt, but you can definitely help find your sleeping buddy a forever home. We also always looking for volunteers. So from walking the dogs to cuddling cats to helping with DIY and painting, there's so much help we need. So anybody who wants to get involved, we'd love to have you volunteer. I can see I'm about to get a message from my wife asking us to go down uh, to Cape Town. I know she's not watching at the moment, but I'm sure when she sees this, I know we're going to Cape Town to come see you guys. But beyond the, the sleepathon itself, uh, the work and the help that you that you need, is this only for this time of the year where volunteers can come in around the sleepathon, the 11th, the 18th and the 25th, or are you always looking for help? We are always looking for help. I mean, the more people we have and more hands on the ground, the more we can do for the animals in our care. Um, and then, yeah, we've got the shelter component of tears, and then we've got a really big um, hospital and outreach program as well. So we do roughly about 360 free sterilizations for pets in low-income communities. Mm. And that's one of the fundraising causes for the CEPA-thon, so someone can sign up and raise money for spay and neuter. Um, we've also got a mobile clinic and a vet, um, a vet clinic that provides subsidized um, care to animals, also in low-income communities. So, yeah, we are it's a little all organization. on the website, I'm sure, as well, isn't it, Luke? It's, it's wonderful uh, to talk to you. Good luck with that. Nova, thank you as well, your little one uh, there with you. Tears.org.za, uh, 11th, 18th and 25th uh, of November at the Tears Animal Rescue Centre uh, in Sunnydale. My thanks to the shelter manager, does amazing work, and the team, Luke Crate.